Have you ever had a dream that felt like a warning? See, warning dreams are happening to us more than we think and are usually one of five signs God is desperately trying to get your attention. And if any of these signs are happening to you right now, especially if your dreams are becoming a warning, God is trying to get your attention and your very life could be in danger. So the first unusual sign is strange phenomena. Sometimes when God wants to get our attention, strange supernatural things begin to happen in our life that are trying to grab our attention and pull us in and listen. When God was first trying to get my wife's attention when she was young, strange phenomena, supernatural things began to follow. She was trying to hear God's voice and she simply couldn't do it. It seemed like the more she pressed in to hear his voice, the quieter his voice voice and God. So her youth leader gave her this book. She started reading it and felt kind of weird about it, like it wasn't really working. Then all of a sudden, things got more supernatural and strange than she could have ever thought possible. Her whole room opened up. She was transported to another world where she saw the world turning over and she came to this point where she saw this staircase reaching up into heaven and angels were ascending and descending on the staircase. And Jesus was at the top of the staircase and said to her, her. Keep going. Come up here to where I am. Then she came out of the vision. The next day she woke up and she brushed it off as nothing. But then the strange phenomena got even stranger. She went into her bathroom and found her Bible on the ground open. She hadn't put it there. Something had knocked it over. And when she came to look at where it was at, he was at the story of Jacob's ladder where he has a vision and a dream of angels ascending and descending on this ladder from heaven to earth. God was speaking to her, trying to get a hold of her attention in a desperate time. And he did this through a strange supernatural phenomena. Are you experiencing any strange supernatural things going on? Are you paying attention right now to the world around you to catch and see if God is trying to speak to you in a strange supernatural phenomena? You need to pay attention. He just might. The second unusual sign God is speaking to you is repeating numbers and words. Sometimes when God wants to tell you something, you will begin to find a pattern in your life where certain numbers and words begin to repeat themselves over and over and over again in things you see. I had this one time over a period of several nights. I was a youth pastor at the time and I was preaching on Sunday morning, but there was a little bit of uncertainty in my heart about this. That week leading up to it, over the course of three nights, I woke up at the same time every night briefly would look at the clock and go back to sleep and that time was 324. This was happening so much that I began to wonder is God trying to speak to me right now? And so I felt drawn to the Bible and I went to the third book of Paul the Apostle, the seventh book of the New Testament, and went to the second chapter in the fourth verse and here's what it said. My message and my speech were not with plausible words of wisdom, but in a demonstration of the Spirit and of power. See, I was intimidated to speak, and I was worried my words wouldn't be elegant enough. But God showed me it's not about whether you're elegant. It's about a demonstration of the Spirit and of power. He was going to heal people that Sunday, and he was encouraging me through these repeating numbers I was waking up and seeing every morning. This same type of thing happened to Sean, who's the leader of Let Us Worship. The Lord spoke to him about Isaiah 22, 22. Here's what it says. I will place on his shoulders the keys to the house of David. What he opens, no one can shut, and what he shuts, no one can open. Since that point in time, he keeps having reoccurring encounters with the number 22, to the point where on one of his recent trips, twice in a five day period, his plane seat was changed to 22F. God's message to Sean is, I have given you an open door to America and the door I have opened, no one can shut. Have you ever had it where a number or a set of words keep repeating over and over again and showing up in your life? If so, let me know about it in the comments below. I wanna hear about that. And if you're experiencing that right now, get on your knees in prayer before God. He might be trying to get your attention. Number three, a lack of peace. Growing up, my parents instilled something in me that profoundly changed how I lived my life. They showed me to go where the peace is. I have discovered that when God wants me to know something, he will give me peace 
about that decision or no peace about that decision. And this has come out in massive waves that have entirely changed the course and direction of my life. When I was 25 and graduating from Bible school, I was looking for a place to go and pastor. And I got an email from a church. They invited me to come up and preach to see if I would become their pastor. So my wife and I accepted and we headed up to Northern Canada. As I was on my way there, slowly over the course of the plane ride and the trip, less and less peace came into my heart. When we got there, we were welcomed with open arms and we had a great time. The people were lovely and amazing. The town was beautiful. I even preached that Sunday and man, we had revival. There were demons coming out of people, people being slain in the spirit, people weeping and crying in God's presence, people being healed and set free. And yet, even in the midst of God moving, even when on the outside, it looked like everything was good to go. God was affirming that I was supposed to be the pastor there. Still, I had no peace in my spirit. They finally asked me if I would be interested in becoming the pastor and I couldn't answer there. I had to go back home and pray. And when I was on my knees praying and I fasted for three days, Finally, I came to the conclusion, there's no peace, I can't take the job. And I am so happy I didn't take that job. I had no idea COVID was just around the corner and there was so much I needed to learn about pastoring. And if I had taken that job, I would have never started Walk Like Jesus Ministries. And I wouldn't be sharing this message with you right now. In your life, going forward with your future, if you're coming across decisions you have to make, look for the peace. And if the peace isn't there, don't go forward with what you're doing because God is saying, don't do it. This is one of his unusual signs. Number four, through other people when they don't even know it. I've had so many times where God is speaking through someone to me and they have no idea God is doing it. The last time this happened, I was sitting with an older gentleman at my church and we we're having a conversation. All of a sudden, the conversation took an entirely different turn and he began to encourage me. What he didn't know is in the moment, there were specific things I was going through, questioning my call, my direction, my ministry, all of these things and he systematically began to encourage me in all of the areas that I was struggling in. About 30 seconds into this, I began to realize this isn't this man speaking to me. God is speaking through him and he has no idea. Have you ever been in church and you felt like the pastor's message was directly for you? Well, I'm telling you this, that was God speaking through him for you. So pay attention to what people are saying to you. Have a heart open to the Lord, especially in church, because if you're not listening, you might miss out on God speaking an important message through somebody else, even when they don't know it. And the fifth most important sign is warning dreams. Now dreams in the Bible are not just a result of the pizza you ate yesterday. Dreams were viewed as a gateway, a door to another world, a portal to step into the spirit world, a place where heaven and earth met. And it's in the dream space where God warns us of events to come. And if you don't realize your dreams are a warning, you may get ambushed without even realizing. This act actually happened to a pastor I know. He was called by a church to take an associate pastor position at another church. Him and his wife actually quit their job. They handed in their month's notice at their rental and they were gearing up to move. The only thing they had to do was go visit the church. So they hopped in their car and they traveled to the church. And when they got there, the pastor loved them. The board loved them. Everybody loved them. It seemed like this job was in the bag. It was going to happen and God was in it. But that night, the night before he was gonna preach at church, Saturday night, he had a dream. And in this dream, the pastor who was hiring him called him into his office and said, this isn't gonna work out. You're not getting the job, I'm letting you go. We're done here. He woke up the next day excessively confused, but brushed it off as his own nerves. That Sunday morning, he preached, he met the congregation, everybody loved him. And then all of a sudden, things took a turn in a strange direction. People started running around, talking and whispering. The pastor randomly called board members into his office to meet. Things got really strange, really quick. And then all of a sudden it happened. The pastor called him into his office and said, I'm not gonna hire you for this job. You're too charismatic. You'll either kick me out of my position or you'll split my church. 
we're done here. That pastor and his wife left devastated. They couldn't believe what happened. On the journey home, the Lord spoke to this pastor though and said, don't worry, this is me. Within a few days, they had their jobs back, they had their rental back, and they were back into a normal spot in life. God came through for them through a warning dream, warning them that this position wasn't in his will. There's another man in the Bible who had a warning dream. And if it wasn't for the fact that he listened to his dream, his life and his family's life would have been taken that very day. And this man is Joseph, the earthly father of Jesus. An angel showed up to him in a warning dream and warned him that Herod was coming for the child and they needed to flee to Egypt. If Joseph had not have listened, Herod would have killed the author of life, Jesus would have never went to the cross, and the world would not be able to receive salvation. I would say to you this, in your life there are going to be Herods that want to destroy you. Things are going to come up, secret plans of the enemy that want to take your life. There are going to be moments where we need to be attentive to God's unusual signs, especially warning dreams, so that we can save our lives and avoid the traps of the enemy. Look, I say all this to you because I want to help you walk like Jesus in everyday life. If Jesus needed warning dreams, if he needed God to speak to him, then we do too. And Herods may come into your life, but there's one truth you need to grab a hold of. The God you serve is always one step ahead of Herod. Now you may be feeling the pressure like Herod has slipped through the cracks. I missed God's unusual signs and now I'm in a fight. What do I do? If that's you, I want you to check out this video right here. This is where I talk about five ways to defeat the enemy when it feels like he's winning. Check that out and you'll know exactly how to beat the Herods in your life. I'll see you over there. God bless.